Hello boys and girls, how are you doing? How are ya? Well, I'm taking you on a fun little video this evening because it is like 8 p.m. on a Sunday and I am doing a little self-care. I've poured myself a glass of wine, cheers. I've made myself some gluten-free carbonara. I put on my cutest little PJs and I'm about to do some skincare. But before we do all that, I am going to show you how I do my favorite overnight heatless curls from home. I find, especially in the summer, I'm trying to use less heat on my hair and just give it a bit of a break. And I feel like my hair really needs a break. So stay tuned to learn what I do. And I don't use a bathrobe. I use a headband. So stay tuned. So I'm going to start by taking my hair out of this crazy mess. I was in the sun today, sweating, went on a walk. It was really hot where I am. So my hair just feels kind of gross and dry. So before I even take a brush to it, I'm taking the Moroccan oil treatment. It's just one of the original ones. This was their Eurovision special one. So I think it says celebrating Eurovision. For some reason right now, the pump isn't working. So I'm just going to put some on my hand. I'll take this and I'll put this on my hair because one way that I have really helped my hair care routine is to always apply oil but even more than that before you brush it out at the end of the day applying a nice hair oil so you're not breaking your hair and breaking through it so I always apply one at night and especially if I'm going to be brushing my hair which I will be and I find that when I wake up the next morning it just feels extra soft extra hydrated so if i can find it i will link that product on my amazon i need to check to see if it's on there and it's amazing and then i'm also going to take a little bit of the unite argan oil my code for them is down below but i will also use this one a lot um because my hair just gets really dry I have colored hair and I have fine hair, so I never want it to be super dry. That's my top tip for getting healthier hair and really comb it in. Now that that's super worked in, I will begin taking my brush very gently at my ends and it just brushes out so much smoother now. And working through my tangles, my hair would have been ripping so much had I not put this in it. So I'm just gonna get this all brushed out so that we're ready for the heatless curls. So now my hair looks something like this. I Dyson air wrapped my hair yesterday and it looked great this morning, but because I've had it like up in a bun, out of a bun, in a hat, it kind of is doing different things at different sides. So we are going to do our heatless curls to refresh it and kind of just allow us not even have to do our hair before work. So first things first, I'm going to section out some of these curtain bangs. So I kind of will just comb them down and then I will take this hair and tuck it behind the ear and then I'll try and get about the same hair on the other side but I just need to make sure sometimes I grab too much so if you have curtain bangs or face trimming pieces this is what I like to do but if you don't then you don't have to worry about this part but once I have that section of hair and it looks something like that. What I like to do is I will take a really small roller and I have some linked on Amazon if you're having trouble finding them anywhere. And I like to do the really small one and I will take my hair and really pull it to the end so that it's super smooth because I don't want this to get tangled. And I will slowly begin wrapping this down, grabbing any little hairs that fall and kind of just squeezing it to my scalp right there. And it kind of lifts off, but it pretty much stays. And then this headband, which is my secret key ingredient, is actually originally from this store in the UK called Home Bargains, but I think they were also sold at TJ Maxx, TK Maxx, depending on where you live. I'm gonna link a similar one on Amazon, but it's basically an original like facial headband. The main thing is, is that it's cinched, but it isn't tight. Like this thing can like literally without like barely any pull get really big, which is a huge thing for me because it's super comfortable. It doesn't pull my hair. It's not going to cause a headache because some facial headbands, like even this one that I love, 
This MEJ one for like makeup is so cute, but it's like a lot tighter. So if I was to put this one on my head, it would hurt. So my main thing for you guys, if you're looking for one or if you get one on Amazon, is just that it is like really, really gentle and doesn't have like a crazy amount of tie elastic. So once I have that, I will then take it and put it on my head. But first I'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of just split my hair down the middle and kind of more is and just have my two sections on both sides of my head. I'll take this front piece and place it right under my roller and just gently slide my headband on like this. So this kind of just keeps everything in place. I'm telling you, heatless curls aren't necessarily the cutest, but they're so nice for keeping the shape of our style. So once this is on, I'll just comb everything down so that this top part is super smooth. I'm gonna do one side on each. So what I will do is I will begin taking a section. You can do as many as you like, depending on how tight you want your curls. The more wraps you do, the tighter your curls will be. But I kind of take this whole first section and all I do is I take it over the headband and pull it through like that. So I'll do the same thing on this side, grabbing the hair right above this ear. And also it's just super easy to do because the hair oil and it just makes our hair super smooth. So now we've got these two sections. I will take that hair that we just pulled through and I will grab a next piece of hair. And again, just taking it around, looping, putting my finger in here, pulling it through. And then I will repeat on the side. Literally, I could do this with my eyes closed. It is so fast so easy it's not pulling on my hair and my biggest thing is that i can sleep on it so before i talk about the sleep situation I'm just going to continue taking all the hair we've already pulled wrapping it around whenever i've done the heatless curls with like those foam headbands or a bathrobe i literally it causes me too much pain because i like sleep on my neck i sleep on my back i sleep all the different ways like it isn't super comfortable i like posted about one a while ago that i was using and that one's the best one out of all of them and it was fine for a while and then like one night i slept weird it wasn't you know the product's fault but i ended up sleeping super weird and it gave me like the worst kink in my neck so i was like okay we're going back to the og of what i done for years because this is what i always did so if you're like me and the bathrobe doesn't work because of the way you sleep or you have sensitive neck because i have a really sensitive neck and have neck problems then you definitely should try this out because literally this doesn't disrupt my sleep at all and to me sleep is more important than hair. So now I have this last section. Again, how many times you wrap will depend how you want it to be, how much hair you have. I will just take it, we're getting to the back of the headband and I will loop it through and I will do the same thing with the other one. I wanna make sure you can see. See the other one's right here. So kind of just being mindful of that, taking it, and looping it through to where we're left with two tails, just like this. And I'm gonna sit kind of twisted around so that you guys can see, and I have a few bobby pins ready to go. For this last part, when I have these two tails, I'll pull one like this, I'll pull it and I'll put it to the side, and I'll take this and just begin wrapping it around the headband, and then before I move on, I will take a bobby pin, any bobby pin will do, and I will pin it right along here. I'll take it and just kind of feel what I can feel. And that's pinned, at least for now. And then I'll take this last piece and I will do the same thing. So just wrapping it around this extra bit of fabric we have. Don't worry if it kind of messes up the other side. See that little tail, that's fine. And continue wrapping it until we're left with that. And then I will take the bobby pin again and pin this side. And then this little tail kind of came out. It's absolutely fine. I will take a bobby pin and just try and tuck it underneath here, just so it stays a little bit. But if it falls in night a little bit back there, it won't really matter too much. But I'll just grab a few more bobby pins just to super secure it. Just so it doesn't go anywhere, kind of just shoving them in along the hair that is looped just to give it that extra security so that it really stays no matter how crazy you sleep so i kind of just do bobby pins mostly in the back just because that's obviously where i sleep too when i toss and turn and you're left with something that looks like this which is just you know such a cute moment and sometimes i will just do this on dry hair but i feel like my hair kind of 
felt flat a lot today and so I really wanted to grab in the style. So I'm just gonna take a little water bottle and lightly mist it. I don't really ever do these styles on fully damp hair. I pretty much do them on dry hair or hair maybe that was styled and it's fallen out just because I feel like when it's fully damp, there's more room for errors. Like it grabs weird or something. So I'll just slightly mist my hair because I also don't want it to get too wet to where it doesn't dry. Um, and yeah, just, just so it helps it really grab onto the style. Okay, so now that we've got that fully misted, all there's left to do is literally go to bed and sleep well because this thing does not cause any pain and it is simply wonderful. So once again, this is how it looks. She's cute. We love a little headband moment. Now that I finished showing you how to do this, I have to show you the results because y'all could think I'm lying. So I'm gonna put on a face mask and then come back after I have a wonderful night's sleep with no pain from this headband. And I will check in tomorrow morning before work how my hair turned out. I'll take it out with you and we'll get it ready to go for my day. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Cheers to Monday. That is when this is being filmed. It will go up next week. I think we're gonna sip my coffee. Mm. I hope you guys are well. I did my makeup for work. We are ready to go this morning and I am gonna take my hair out. I slept wonderful in it. Do my makeup in it was so easy because it's pulled off off my face. So I'm excited to see the results. I really hope they aren't too crazy and then I twisted it in a good way. I've done this before, so it's not that I haven't, but hopefully it turned out good. I'm just gonna start taking out my bobby pins. I just have a few back here, if you remember. I just can't get over how comfortable this is to sleep in, so you definitely need to try this if you haven't already tried it. I'm just gonna remove, whoa, my little roller be crazy. So I just begin kind of unwrapping pieces. <gasps> oh. Okay, okay, I think we can work with this. Let's keep taking this out. I kind of just pull the headband back and just begin unlooping the hair. It literally unloops so easily, whoa. Oh my goodness, look at these ringlets. There's probably gonna be some funny kinks in it just because there always is a little bit with these type of overnight curls, but I have high hopes. Okay, I'm gonna pull this guy out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's begin running our fingers through this. It's gonna be crazy until it gets broken up. So then I'm gonna take my little brush and my fingers are running through it like so easily because of the hair oil we put in it. So there's nothing about it that's like knotted or tangled up. Oh my gosh, it's looking so freaking good. Okay, now you do have to bear with this. You have to, you know, brush it out, comb it out, get it sitting the way you want. I find that throughout the day it falls, of course, because it's not wrapped up anymore. So it naturally will fall and you kind of just have to play with it but i literally love this i always do this while i'm traveling so my husband and i like i remember we went to um copenhagen and prague i think prague specific i literally we went for a weekend and i didn't wash my hair the, the whole time we were gone because it was just a weekend trip and i literally just kept re-wrapping my hair in this my hair looked so amazing and my hair felt so healthy because there literally was like no heat and yeah it was just the best okay so this is where we are right now i'm actually really happy with this okay Okay, so while this settles down, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my dry shampoo. This is a Moroccan oil one, and my hair is greasy because I get greasy hair every day. So I'm just gonna start sectioning a root area. This will also help give you some added volume at your root. Now that our dry shampoo is in there and it's white, I'm gonna slightly rub it into my hands, but then what I'm gonna do to fully activate it, this is one of my favorite hair things, is take my blow dryer and just directly put it on my roots and dry it in and massage it. Okay, and that just like fully activates the dry shampoo and gets it going to where we want it to be. It also just allows our hair to like settle down for a minute. And calm, as you can see, my little bangs have already kind of calmed. And my hair feels amazing. So how I will finish this off 
is I'm going to, you can spray hairspray, you can spray texturizing spray, you can put a little oil on your ends depending on your hair texture. I'm going to kind of shape these and let these guys chill because they need to like get the right shape. Again, sometimes these pieces are a little wonky, so you just kind of have to play with it until you like the shape and just kind of like let it sit. Like I like something like that, very fair faucet. I'm gonna take this dry oil finishing spray. This is just my Bumble Bumble, you guys know I love their products. You can watch my videos just to kind of make sure my hair does feel super soft and hydrated. I am just gonna take a little bit of the Cult Favorite Color Wow hairspray for these like little front pieces as I said I kind of want to shape them in the way that I want to frame the face and so they kind of are looking a little funky so I'll kind of pinch them together like this and spray it this just kind of helps keep them the way I want all right you guys and there you have it my literal favorite easy overnight curls. These will fall throughout the day and they're just literally my favorite. So let me show you from the back what they look like too. There may be some dents. Expect that with overnight curls, but they're the best. All right, and there you have it, the easiest, most comfortable overnight voluminous curls that as they fall end up looking like a blowout which I love because they're kind of that big round curl and I'm just obsessed with it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'm so excited for more videos to come. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!